Hi everyone, Pastor Rachel here. Welcome back to my channel where we spend a few moments investing in ourselves, investing in community, and investing in God through acts of prayer, devotion, and reflection. Today I was probing one of my friends about what I should talk about today and what I should share with all of you. And she and I have walked on this faith journey, goodness gracious, I think since I've been, I was 15. We met when I was 15. And so that's about 15 years of friendship. And she is now one of my, if not my main, um, spiritual accountability partner. And she and I really have journeyed through the faith process, ordination process. We're working through a lot of different you know, a lot of different wheels are turning that we are part of and support each other in. And it's a tough place to be seeking to understand your call from God and seeking to understand the call within a human built organization like the United Methodist Church. And it's, it's a, been a tough long road for a lot of various reasons for both of us and having the ability to communicate and to journey with someone through that is beyond ideal and it's just I don't know beyond humbling and so necessary and so this is me asking you about who has been one of your people on your journey one of your companions who has been someone who has stuck with you through the tough stuff and has helped you realize who God is and helped see God in you and really helped to be a spiritual accountability partner in whatever format that looks like for you I give great thanks for people who have the strength and persistence and the love of God in them to journey through all these really hard component, components of faith with one another. I'm a firm believer that God speaks through friends. God speaks through those who accompany us on the journey. And it's not only what we hear when we speak to God directly, but it's what we hear when we speak to people and through friendship and relationship. So think about those people who have journeyed with you and are continuing to journey with you for they are important and holy and worthy and ought to be lifted up today. Um, they're, it's just beautiful to realize that we're not alone, not alone on the journey. And so I was asking her today what I should talk about on this video and I, part of that was because I was really leaning toward reading a prayer or a poem from one of the books that I've read many times on here. And I really want to utilize the breadth of poets and theologians and writers in the world because this is such a good opportunity to hear from different perspectives and to hear language that different people write. And we have very different, um, if you will, libraries of who's on our who's stocked on our bookshelves poets writers theologians and whatnot which is wonderful so i reached out to her and i said i need something i need something different that i don't know something different that i can share with this community what do you have for me and she instantly had something for me so she sent me a poem by morgan harper nichols and it's a poem about grace i will let the poem speak for itself and i'm just going to jump right into it um really good. So here's a poem by Morgan Harper Nichols. Hold tight to hope amidst all unanswered questions, for even in uncertainty there is strength to be found, and grace will still abound in what you do not understand. Under blue skies, on cracked rocks, in dry heat, in desert land, grace is the hand that is never out of reach, reminding you, you are not weak because you are alone. You are not weak because you are alone. And even if you have heard the word grace over and over again, and you think you already know what it means, there is grace for that too humbly reminding you of its endlessness and how much you need it when you are lost in the wilderness. So do not be disheartened when the landscape is working against you and do not think that you have failed when you are not sure that you'll make it through. For this glorious, unmerited favor called grace will meet you 
where you are, giving you peace amidst your restlessness and safety from alarm. Mm. Amen. Grace will meet you where you are, no matter where that is, no matter where you are on your journey, and no matter who you're on your journey with, grace meets you where you are. God meets you where you are. And I think that is one of the most wonderful aspects of believing in a God that's so boundless and so love-filled and promise-filled and hope-filled is that God chooses to meet all of us, all of God's children, exactly where we are in this life. And we can see God doing that through people who we choose to journey with. People are really important in being able to visualize and see and feel God's grace. People are really important on this journey. And grace is that unmerited gift that brings people together to journey with one another. So go in God's grace. Go knowing that relationships are really important and go knowing that God never abandons. That no matter where you are on your journey, God meets you there. So may you go with the peace of God, and may you go in the grace of God this beautiful and wonderful day. Many blessings.